Hi all, this is Yashika. So today in this video, I will be sharing my entire journey of starting BSA from scratch, from zero and uh, cracking offers uh, at big tech companies like Google, Microsoft, Salesforce. So let's get started. So in the first semester of my college, uh, I had no idea uh, what to do, how to start things. Uh, little do I know was uh, that coding is the only thing that can help us land jobs at uh, big tech companies. So I had uh, done few basics of C++ in my 12th standard. So in the first semester, I continued uh, revising those concepts. Uh, I did some questions of uh, making patterns with for loops, all that stuff that we do as a basic uh, beginner. Uh, I practiced all those things. Uh, it was when in the second semester, there was an opportunity that came up, which was WE scholarship for which I applied. Uh, I had no hopes that whether I'll be able to clear it or not. I just applied to it. And there we had an OA round uh, where we had to do some questions. It was then when I first encountered with some topics like vectors, linked lists. So I got a little confused, what are they? Uh, I was not able to crack that opportunity, but I got an idea that there are a lot more things than those basic concepts that I was revising in my first semester. So I started searching about those things on net that uh, what are these topics, uh, then I got to know that there is something called DSA, Data Structures and Algorithms that we need to practice to uh, uh, get jobs and so I started searching more about DSA, uh, some uh, detailed free courses available in the market. Uh, when I started searching, I found that there are immense number of courses available in the market. There is immense knowledge available on internet. Uh, I used to uh, search one topic a day and then used to read about something and then switch to another topic. A uh, few days I was doing this thing and uh, one day I realized that uh, this is a total mess. I am doing one thing from one website, doing another thing from another website and it was a lot chaotic for me. I was not actually getting anything. I was just messing up things. So I uh, sat down, I made a list that uh, what all topics people do first and uh, I made a sequence. Uh, now there are a lot of coding platforms available like Geeks for Geeks, uh, Lead Code, Interview Bit. Uh, I personally started with Interview Bit. Uh, I found some curated topics over there. So I started picking up every topic, uh, learning about their theory and then uh, implementing the knowledge and then doing questions on them. So in my, till my, uh, till the mid of my third semester, I remember I was able to complete till the topic trees. Now, uh, after that, uh, there was an opportunity that came up, which was uh, this is a recent fellowship program. Uh, I thought of applying there and uh, thought of trying my knowledge over there. Uh, so it, it is a, a, a tough program. They choose around 35 girls from second year all over India. It, it had a huge competition. So I tried, uh, thought of testing my uh, knowledge that I have gained over these past months. So I gave it a shot and I got selected. Uh, I was quite happy. Uh, after a few months only, uh, and another opportunity came up, which was a Google Step Internship. Uh, I thought of giving it a try there as well. Now this was the first interview of my life. Uh, I was quite nervous, but uh, I tried to give it a shot. Uh, my resume got shortlisted. Now I had an interview opportunity. Since this was the first interview of my life, uh, I had no idea how to communicate with an interviewer. What question do I need to ask? Whether or not I can ask questions from them as well or not. So I was quite confused. I was quite nervous and it, I ended up missing it uh, a lot. Um, so few things that I learned from there was uh, I I had knowledge of uh, 
solving that question but i lacked communication skills i couldn't uh, i was not well prepared to ask questions from interviewer i uh, didn't interact with the interviewer so that was one of the major learnings that i got that i need to improve on my communication skills it was then when i uh, started uh, solving questions in a different way so whenever on lead code i used to solve or practice any question i used to read a question uh, as an interviewer is telling me a, a question and then uh, as i am approaching towards a solution whatever i used to think in my mind i used to speak it out loud as in i am sitting in an interview and explaining it to somebody else so i started preparing questions in that sense because no matter how good you are in your coding skills if you are not able to uh, express it out to other people you are not you will not be able to explain them that how good knowledge you have uh, with the essay so uh, i mean you can write good code but explaining it to other people is uh, uh, also very important so this is one key learning that i got even though it was a failure but i got a key learning from there that i need to be a good uh, communicator as well so uh, this is how my third semester ended and uh, with the starting of the fourth semester uh, i started looking for new opportunities um, along with that i was practicing dsa i started with uh some new topics like graph dp uh alongside i was looking for opportunities so there was an opportunity that came up that was a code for good hackathon by jp morgan uh, company uh i applied there uh i got a chance to participate in code for good hackathon uh along with that there was an opportunity linkedin coaching program i applied there as well uh, and got selected and then uh towards the end of my fourth semester uh, there was a program that came which was uh, microsoft engage program now in this program we were required to build a project on a topic like machine learning artificial intelligence or any such topic now uh, the challenge was that uh, the timeline that we were given for making a project i had exams uh, on that whole duration so it was very really difficult doing both the things simultaneously but still i managed to uh, make through my exams and also make a good project for this uh, program now here is one key learning for you all uh, i get a lot of comments from people that uh, whenever i use whenever i say that you should have good projects work on good projects then i get comments from people that we we'll always get stuck in this war of doing uh, projects and doing dsa uh, what should we do what should we prefer uh, what should we give more time to uh, we are not able to do both the things simultaneously so uh, understand one thing we are a student and in a student's life it is uh, not always a straight path you have multiple things so you have to be a multitasker uh, uh, i am saying it from my own journey i had exams i had to uh make the project i did both the things and uh moving forward i got uh, the opportunity at microsoft uh, to get interviewed i had two interview rounds uh, both were uh, dsa uh, based rounds i i was asked uh, questions on uh, the topic graph uh, i was able to do all those questions but the result didn't come uh, immediately so i was still looking for uh, the internship opportunities uh, then this code for good hackathon for which i was selected uh, the day of the hackathon came with the whole team made the project in one day and then we were interviewed uh, for the internship opportunity on that day itself we were in interviewed uh, uh, they were assessing us so that they can select us for internship opportunity Uh, and for this also the result didn't come immediately so i was still looking for internships now this was towards the end of my fourth semester i was preparing for internship season uh, but the internship but the internship season didn't start uh, at my college so i started applying off campus for various opportunities 
so there was one opening at uh, at a company salesforce so i applied over there my resume got shortlisted and then there was an oa uh, round i uh, cleared that as well and then i had three interviews uh, lined up on the same day uh, two were uh, dsa based and one was hr round i was uh, able to clear all of those uh, interviews and on the same day i got the result that i have an offer uh, from salesforce uh, i was quite happy but 2 3 days after that itself i got uh, uh, the mail from microsoft that i have offer from microsoft as well now uh, remember the uh, good for good hackathon that i talked about so they also offered me an internship opportunity uh, so uh, now i had three offers in my hand i was quite satisfied with that um, but i had this thing in my mind that i don't have to stop uh, do solving questions uh, i used to solve one question uh, every day on lead code to maintain my streak uh, and sometimes used to do uh, coding contests as well uh, while sitting with my friends um, but i didn't stop practicing dsa although the intensity to which i used to do it earlier that uh, decreased uh, but still i used to practice questions daily and uh, now my fifth semester started and towards the mid of the fifth semester uh, i got a mail from google recruiter that uh, they want uh, if i want to get interviewed by them i can uh, uh, take up those interview opportunity now this might be because i had applied to google career portal a lot of time or uh, for uh, various opportunities like sometimes for some scholarship opportunities sometimes for some internship opportunities but i never used to uh, get through these programs um, but this time uh, because since they had my resume in their hand so they said that they have an opportunity which matches my profile so if i want i can uh, give interviews for that so i was really happy because google is uh, one of my dream companies so i agreed on uh, giving the interview and since i was practicing uh, dsa questions daily i had a uh, confidence that i should be able to uh, give the interview uh, and i got a one week uh, time to prepare so in within that uh, one week i again started my rigorous preparation for practicing uh, various question on topics like dynamic programming graph and all that uh, uh, topics uh, and i had two interviews uh, lined up together uh, both were graph based and i was able to solve all those questions and i guess i got the offer from google as well now uh, this was my journey of cracking four big tech companies uh, within this journey i have discussed about few mistakes i have done the things that i learned from my journey so in a short summary i will be telling up you about the small things that you can also uh, apply in your life so the first thing is uh, don't uh, get uh, lost in uh, such a huge number of uh, information that is provided on internet stick to any one platform stick where you can get a lot of things make a sequential order of a list of things that you need to cover up and maybe then you can search uh, about their explanations about their details on the net but at least have a, a very curated list that you need to follow throughout your journey uh, second thing was uh, do apply to as many opportunities that comes your way if you are eligible for that uh, even if you think you are not fully prepared just apply to those uh, uh, opportunities because even if you will not be able to make through it uh, you will get a lot of learnings from them for example for my step internship failure i was not able to uh, get that opportunity but uh, that was a a uh, changing moment for my life because i got to know that for interviews just dsa is not enough i need to practice on my communication skills as well i need to practice on uh, communicating my thoughts with others so that is that was really uh, a great learning that i got in my journey so 
and it uh, and i got it only when i applied to things even though i failed and the third thing is uh, it is really important even if you get an opportunity at any company or in firm don't stop practicing dsa questions uh, if you are a software engineer you should uh, definitely not stop practicing dsa um, because uh, even if you do one question a day it will be 365 questions in a year so it's a huge thing if you will break the chain of uh, practicing dsa you uh, in the future if you have some better opportunities for you you might uh, can lose it because of uh, not preparing dsa daily so uh, i mean that's the thing that helped me in my journey for cracking google so it uh, it is one of the recommendations from my side that you should also follow this uh, apart from that i think that my journey could help others also learning from the mistakes that i did uh, if you liked my journey or you learned something from my journey do share it with your friends and if you have a very interesting journey that could help other people learn uh, from then definitely comment it down in the comment section or if you have any uh, queries that you want to ask from me uh, ask it in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye